Nice sweet vanilla. You know that's my thing right there. <laughs> nice sweet. Vanilla. You said that with too much passion. I did. Mean, <laughs> sweet. What up, though? You already know what it is, man. Everybody loves BBW. That's beards, bourbon, whiskey, the podcast. Whole gang is in the building, man. I got my man Angry Principal in the building. What's up? Got my man Bo holding it down. I say. And of course, man, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live from the 48205, man. Back another week with some Mo Spirits. Another one. You know what I'm saying? This was a little bit different, though. It's got a little backstory to it. So this is a Ghost Coast, all right? Uh, fancy schmancy little label here. I ain't gonna lie to you. It looked like a wine bottle though. Like it's kind of, it's got kind of like a wine bottle a little bit. But uh, Angry Principal got a little bit of history uh, behind the bottle. A little bit of something to tell us. So we go, tale. yeah, a little story to tell. So uh, tell us a little bit about it, though. All right. So this is a store pick from Total uh, Wine, Total Wine, yep. uh, out of South Carolina. Okay. Uh, Ghost Coast Distillery is out of Savannah, Georgia. Gotcha. My understanding, and somebody please correct us in the comments if I'm wrong. But this is a story that was told to me, is that this particular store pick from Total Wine was a discontinued run for them. Okay. They wound up buying the whole batch and now selling it gotcha. at Total Wine. So it's kind of um, exclusive. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But I guess it's only out of South Carolina. All right. Um, I had I, it was actually I actually purchased it for somebody and they sent it to me. Gotcha. From South Carolina. Okay. And um. Fifteen dollars <laughs> oh, is yeah. the price for one hundred four, almost one hundred five proof Whoo, whiskey. About to get lit here. <laughs> now, uh, Ghost Coast has a lot of straight, uh, small batch, um, straight wick bourbon whiskey runs. They got some four year. They got, but most of those are at ninety, eighty to ninety proof. Gotcha. This is one hundred four. Right. One hundred five. Yeah. One hundred four. One hundred five. Yeah. So. And there's nothing on their website that says one over over ninety proof. Right. Mm. So this is really exclusive for Yeah, them. so this yeah. is something different for them. Okay. I mean they've got honey flavored whiskey, ginger flavored whiskey, ginger. Ginger, vodkas, right. gins, spice rums. They have a lot of different uh expressions for Ghost gotcha. Coast as okay. a distillery. They sell bitters, you name it, they got it in here. So Damn. Okay. Um, and that's out of Savannah, Georgia. Savannah, Georgia is the is Ghost Coast Distillery. Gotcha. Oh, okay. That's what's up. All right, let's uh, let's take a look at the. We're gonna pop the cork and see what that sound like. I will say before we even pop the cork though, it's hella dark skin. <laughs> oh yeah, that's yeah. It was hella dark skin. So I, I'm excited to see what this is about to be like. Um, any guesses before? I don't know. I really, I don't have a clue. I'm like char oak. I think it's gonna be oaky. Oaky. Just because it's so it is so dark skin. It's dark. Yeah, it's very yeah. dark. So I don't know. It doesn't have a, a age statement on it at yeah. all. Don't know how long it's been in the in the barrel. Yeah. It just says, uh, "Oh, okay." It was barreled in 2017. Okay, all right. So that's uh, so you got some age on it. That's about at six, least six years. years. That's about at six least. years. All right, boss with a cork. Okay, <laughs> synthetic cork, very weak. Hopefully that. The, so let's let's hope the juice yeah, is better. It's better than that. <laughs> that thing need a blue chew. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> blue chew, dog. Wow. Dang. That motherfucker's dark, though. It is dark. I wonder if they put some color into this. Uh, I hope not. <laughs> after six years, I guess they didn't really have to. Yeah, no, but it's Maybe. super dark, though. Mm -hmm. right, let's see what we got here. 104. Serious vanilla. Oh, I'm excited oh, already, then. <laughs> Kind of oh, alcohol yeah. forward. Yeah. Yeah. Don't stick your nose all the way in. <laughs> mm -hmm. Vanilla for sure. Definitely vanilla. Get a, a quick little burn on the fish. It's little, just quick. Like a brown sugar? Yeah. I'm less sure. I got to see what it is now. Brown sugar, maple, molasses, something like that. Oh, I like this. Like an orange, some kind of citrus. A little citrusy. But it's not bad though. Low key, a little bit of wood on the finish too, though. Yeah, it's that char is there. Yeah, char. a little bit of wood yeah. on the char finish. Is there. The vanilla though at the beginning, nice sweet vanilla. 
You know, that's my thing right there. <laughs> nice, sweet. You said that with too much passion. I did. <laughs> sweet. I'm not going to say what I'm thinking. I'm not even going to say it. Fill in the Fill in joke here. Fill in the blank, huh? Anyway, so, uh, right. gentlemen. I like it, though. I like it. Almost like a ginger kind of taste. Ginger? I, I'm, especially on the smell for me, I'm getting like a, a ginger, but then a slight on the end of it, I'm getting like a ginger. Yeah, I'm not getting I'm a getting ginger. smell and taste. Yeah, I don't, I don't see the ginger. I literally got the... It's almost like a furnace in my head. I just <laughs> It's reminding me of furnace. I literally got the vanilla at the beginning. That's ginger ale for everybody, not from Detroit. Right, yeah, it's ginger ale. <laughs> I got the vanilla at the beginning, some citrus somewhere in there, and some wood at the end. Like that's, that's vanilla. I got some alcohol. Um, <laughs> Off the nose, for yeah, real. Yeah, there's some kind of molasses, brown sugar, maple type sweetness. Then a quick little quick little burn at the end. At the end, yeah. yeah on the finish there, but... Uh, I like, yeah, yeah, I like it. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Fifteen bucks is fucking awesome. Hey, that's the greatest. <laughs> <laughs> you hear me? <laughs> that's gonna be on the deck for the fifteen for sure. Yeah. But Did no, the, uh, it's no hug. Anything? It's no hug. Cigar doesn't help her help it or hurt it. Uh, no. Okay, I got but there's no hug on it. It does disappear. Yeah. Let's see what a little bit of see if some water might open it up a little bit. See, I don't even want to put no water in it because, like, I'm all. Cause it's too sweet. Yeah, cause it's already it's just it's yeah it's just like yeah. yeah. I just want to see kind of if it's yeah. change anything. I think you gonna get some bourbon flavor water. Yeah, cause it, it completely killed the isopropyl yeah. on the top. Yeah, I'm gonna stop. I'm not even gonna try it. I'm gonna <laughs> live through you on this one. Yeah, now it's just sweet. Yeah, yeah now yeah. it's just sweet. Yeah, you're right. All right. So you got it. It's it's pretty. It's kind of oily though, low key. Yeah. Some long legs on it. Hmm. All right, so you got the uh, preliminary analysis from uh, all three of us, of course. We're going to go to commercial break, but when we get back, you're going to get that one to five Black Power Fist rating. Going to see what each of us uh, give this on a one to five uh, power rating. Uh, I'm kind of interested to see what they're going to say. I think they might be surprised what I say. <laughs> so you'll check us out on the other end of the of the uh, commercial dog but till then you already know what it is everybody loves bbw man that's beards bourbon whiskey the podcast be back in a moment visit the website right now www.everybodylovesbbw that's beards bourbon whiskey the podcast And we're back. Thank you guys for hanging out through the commercial breaks. You already know what it is. Everybody loves BBW, man. That's beards, bourbon, whiskey, the podcast. Whole gang is back in the building, man. Uh, we about to get those one to five uh, ratings real quick. So last week, of course, we started with Angry Principal. So this week, we're going to start with Bo. So like, uh, what you think, man? One to five? First of all, I'm surprised. Mm -hmm. um, not because of the brand or whatever it is, anything like that. When I heard 15 bucks, I was like... like I heard 15 bucks. Yeah. Yeah, my expectation was like, yeah. Was <laughs> yeah. All right, but, I mean, you get that vanilla for that, that, well, the vanilla, the vanilla sweetness on, on, you know, on, on the palate, on the nose, then it's got, like, it's very alcohol forward, but it's got a nice maple, cocoa, not, not cocoa, but like kind of a molasses type finish. Um, I was surprised. I liked it. I give it a, I give it a three on taste. Mm -hmm. The price of fifteen bucks that bumps it up a lot. We'll bump it up to a three point five yeah. overall. Yeah. For sure. Okay, I yeah. dig that. All right. Three five. You said that the price is definitely uh <laughs> definitely plays a part in it for sure. Angry principal, what about you, bro? So I was at a two and a half on taste. Mm -hmm. But once again, it's fifteen bucks. Now granted we had to I had to order it to get it here. I had to have somebody else purchase for me in South yeah. Carolina and then send it up to me. Right. So you know, it's a little bit of trouble if you're not in South Carolina and find a total wine to get it. But if you did see this, mm -hmm. I would definitely pick it up. Yeah, uh, sure. Am I drinking it by itself? No. I'm probably going to mix it with something. Okay. If I'm making an old-fashioned old or something yeah. like that. Um, right. When I put a little drop of water in it, it brought spice out, mm -hmm. which normally is supposed to dampen down the taste, but that spice came out for me. So I'm going to, because of the value, I'm going to put it at a three. Okay. Uh, taste two and a half, value Kicks it up to a three. Gotcha. 
Okay. All right. So on that on that same note, I'm going to uh, give it a three as well. This is on the basis of the taste and the uh, and the price. Surprisingly, um, I I do think that they're even though it leads with the vanilla, like you said, um, it's not my it's not my favorite. It's it's not my favorite at this point. Um, at fifteen dollars though, it, it does change the uh, you know it changes the scope of things completely because for fifteen I can have a few bottles of these and like <laughs> people who think they drink whiskey but don't really like hey have some of this and then you don't have to kill like the stuff that I really enjoy. But um, definitely something that I would suggest that you have on the bar. Um, and for me, I don't know. I'm just not like with the old fashions and mixed drinks. Like I, I haven't really gotten into it yet. I don't think I've. First of all, let me say this. I don't think I've made one successfully. So that's probably why I don't really look forward to it. So I would, I would drink it just, just kind of playing by itself. Um, I, I wouldn't say add any ice or water because like, just kind of take it as it is. I would, I would say. But obviously, you want to, you know, drink what you like. Um, I probably wouldn't put any ice in the dough or water. I just drink it straight. But uh, for the price and, and taste wise, definitely it's, it's it's one to go. So I'll give it a three. Um, again, this is a this is a pretty high average, and I think just like Bo said earlier, um, I don't think we had a high expectation mm -hmm. because of the price. But it's actually pretty good. So yeah. So uh, shout out to uh, Ghost Coast. Now this is the only uh, expression I've ever had. I hadn't actually even heard of Ghost Coast at all, but they obviously have a few more expressions. I think what's exciting about this one though is that nobody seems to know it exists because it's not <laughs> on the website or anything. So shout out to Total Wine for bringing this one back. So. Ghost, ghost bottle. Right, ghost bottle. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, man, make sure you check out Ghost Coast, man. And whatever, if you have had it already, uh, drop us a comment uh, down in the comment section. Let us know what you thought about it. Um, but well, if you know it. anything about the distillery, because mm -hmm. that too, should that be some place that we visit or whatever if we for down sure. in that area? Hey, and that was down in Savannah, Savannah, Georgia, Georgia, yeah. right, for sure. All right, so shout out to them. Uh, but that's it. We're gonna keep drinking and move on to the next uh, to the next episode. <laughs> Make sure you do check out all the replays at www.everybodylovesbbw.com. And uh, like, share, and subscribe. Uh, uh, that's it. Till the next time. You already know what it is. Everybody loves BBW. That's beers, bourbon, and whiskey, the podcast. Got my man, Angry Principal, in the building. Drink what you like, how you like. Got my man, Bo, holding it down. I say. And of course, man, it's your boy, Q Lewis, holding it down live from the 48205, man. Peace out, y'all.